Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today's video is going to be about what Ling Ling has in her carry-on. Yes, I thought I would make this video because I am right now on my last day here in America. I'm going back to China tomorrow morning really early. So I have to pack my carry-on and I thought why not share it with you guys. Yay! In this video I'm also going to talk a little bit about my camera gear because people have been asking me before what are you using to film your videos so I thought why not put everything together and remember all the links are below if you're interested in purchasing any of the things I'm talking about you can check it in the description box so without further ado let's get started I actually usually have a small suitcase when I travel as a carry-on but this time because Hainan Airlines allowed me to bring two suitcases and check both of them in and also bring on a carry-on I thought why not go and purchase another bag because I want to bring some stuff back I'm gonna fill my old carry-on which is now a checked-in bag well that was not confusing at all up with peanut butter and crackers and muesli bars and what not from the American supermarket so I went to Target and I found this really cute flower bag I really really like this one you can see it here it's so nice it's big but it's not too big and it was not that expensive either so I really 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 like this new bag and that's the one I'm going to use as my carry-on this time. So object number one that I have in my carry-on is obviously my passport. You can't buy that one. <laughs> but I thought I would put it in my video anyways because I feel like that's the most important thing when you are traveling. I also bring my bag besides my carry-on. This is my lovely bag from Taobao. I'm so freaking happy about this bag. It's just a very small cute little bag so that's like the extra thing I have besides my carry-on bag another thing I bring in my carry-on bag is of course this one my travel pillow yay this one is also bought in mini so so cute I actually found a few lookalikes from eBay so I put them in the links below if you want to check it out I thought this one's so cute I know that I have a lot of male followers so I've been trying to make this carry-on bag video a little mix of like male interest female interest so I hope it's okay guys but I just want to show you my favorite lipstick for all the girls out there it is nude nuance matte from Maybelline I just really 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 love this lipstick it's my favorite and I have it of course in my carry-on as well I usually don't wear makeup when I'm traveling but I sometimes like to just put a little bit of lips lipstick on so I feel a little more fresh after like 10 hours in the plane. Right? I of course also have my hand sanitizer antibacterial. This one is from Bath and Body Works. Just a really nice thing to bring when you are traveling. This might be a little weird for someone but Ling Ling needs her oatmeal wherever she is and it's always good to bring for me if I feel uncomfortable somewhere. So I have a little bag of apple cinnamon oatmeal. I'm gonna bring one on the plane as well because you never know and I assume they have hot water just like you know Chinese they bring instant noodles and Ling Ling is just bringing her oatmeal so I'm really excited for this. It's of course also in my carry on. Moving on to the tech gear. When I'm out and about and flying around the world, I of course need my tech tech stuff. Oh my god, I sound like such a guy. <laughs> I'm not, but there are a few things that I really, really need. This one is a portable battery. I can bring this one in my carry-on. I'm not allowed to put it in my actual suitcase, which is 
fine for me because I can use it to charge my phone, you know, 10 hours on the plane. If I play around with my phone a little bit, then this one is very important. For that one, I of course also have the actual charger for my phone and with this one, the cable as well. Okay, that was weird. Anyways, not important. <laughs> I am using a Canon camera. I purchased it last year. I used the older model before. Now I'm using the Canon EOS M3 camera, which is super nice. It has a flip screen. I can can flip it up and it's just very lightweight but still takes extremely good pictures and make really good video the audio is also super nice and I can always change the lens I can also put on I can also attach a microphone on top and put it on a tripod so that's like my favorite camera I'm so so happy about it I also use a microphone on top I was so lucky because one of you guys shout out to Trent Theodore he gave me a new microphone so I have this little microphone now to put on top of my camera for better sound this one is a Rode microphone I'm just gonna say it the English way Rode but actually it's a Danish word it means red it's called Rode but no English native speakers can pronounce it, so I just want to say road. Anyways, I put this one on my camera. I don't have to turn it on or off at all. It's just automatically on, which is really good because the old model, you had to turn it on all the time. And I would forget it, and then I would film a whole video without freaking sound, and I would, would be so furious afterwards, and I had to start again. So that's just not cool, but I really, really love this little road microphone. And also the follower, he also purchased a dead cat for me. I know, I know, it sounds weird to call it that, but everyone calls it a dead cat, so I do it too. And you're probably wondering, what is that for? But basically, you can put this dead cat on the microphone and so when you're filming outside you can't hear the wind which is amazing I'm telling you when I've been traveling around sometimes it would be so annoying with the wind you have seen it on some of my earlier videos as well so this one has really saved lives thank you so much to Theodore of course when you are a social media butterfly and YouTube fanatic then you need to bring your computer everywhere your laptop so I have a MacBook Air I think this one is 11 and it's 11 I don't know how to say that 11 chun in Chinese I don't know how to say it in English sorry but yeah I just put a sticker on this one I bought that from Taobao the Chinese eBay I thought this is really cute I really like this it is my life so I have it every with me everywhere I go and when I'm flying of course I need it I bring it around I so that's really cool but the problem is that the storage is not big enough so I also purchased external hard drives I'm going to show you guys the two I have now I'm probably gonna purchase a new one very soon because of course footage is really heavy and very big files so I need to buy new ones all the time but anyways I have one HD my passport I purchased this one in Taiwan super great external hard drive it's one terabyte huge but not big enough for Ling Ling so one year later she had to purchase a new one I think this one is a Chinese brand called Netac you just need this if you're doing a lot of filming and editing when you're editing you of course need headphones because you don't want to bother the person beside you so I have some cheap Miniso headphones again Miniso is an amazing store in China discount store I tried to find Miniso online I could find one on eBay that sells the newer version of this one which is Bluetooth without these I'm definitely going to buy that one when I get back to China again because those are awesome and amazing but yeah right now I just have these they're really really good as well for a very very nice price that was all the tech gear that I bring in my carry-on I also bring a few books the first one is a life planner this one is so so cute oh my god it's from the company called bando oh the little dog arrived it hi ah see mm. yeah i love you too oh you have a really bad breath maybe you should lay down over there hi. and the design inside is so cute as well and so helpful so worth the money I'm so excited to get started this one is for 2017 and 18 from August now and then 17 months 
forward so that's just awesome I'm really excited to get started on that I also purchased another book called the 52 lists project which I'm really excited about as well I already started a little bit you're supposed to write down a list every week and I got so motivated so at the back of the book I actually wrote down 14 goals for the next five years for Lena around so I have to work really hard so I can accomplish all of these goals that I've written down because some of them are really big but I'm super excited and I hope that you guys are coming with me okay, moving on to the next book I know I bring way too many books and it's way too heavy in my carry on but I cannot stop it I just really like to make sure that when I'm on the plane I have enough things to do because I hate just wasting time which is kind of stupid because very often they have really nice new movies to watch and I also fall asleep so yeah it's kind of silly but on the other hand I do have a few options and it makes me happy if you haven't guessed it yet Ling Ling also brings her Chinese book yes so I have this book right now which is called business Chinese conversation intermediate I couldn't find this one online I bought it already a few uh, years ago so I think that's why but it's published by Beijing Language and Culture University Press so I found a few books that I've been studying before I found them on Amazon and I put the links below as well I really suggest you to check those out one is just like Chinese conversation in general but then the other one is like business focused which is also really cool so take a look if you're interested in finding a really good book to study Chinese from just get started guys I'm telling you just get started on learning that Chinese on the plane sometimes it's super cold and sometimes it's super hot so I like to bring an extra pair of shoes I usually wear trainers when I'm around the airport because they are just more comfortable and if it's cold inside it's nice to wear but if I get on the plane and it's freaking hot I really like to wear to bring another pair of of shoes these are sandals I just purchased in Target I just thought they were so cute and not expensive either so I just bring them onto the plane so I can change if I feel like freeing my feet <laughs> okay that was weird <laughs> anyways apart from the oatmeal that I show you guys showed you guys earlier I also bring another snack which is super important to me oh my god it's so important Without this snack, I don't think I could survive. In China, their snacks are super unhealthy, so I don't really like to buy snacks over there. But a few months ago, I watched another YouTuber and she was talking about healthy snacks and she mentioned this bar called Laura Bar. I'd never heard about it before, but I checked it out and I found it on Amazon and I ordered it back to China and I was like oh my god it's a healthy snack it's tasty and there are a lot of different tastes as well so if you're picky and you don't like carrot cake there's also blueberry and cookie and chocolate taste and apple and so many other ones coconut I think I really really enjoy these I actually enjoy them so much that when I arrived in America I immediately asked Lauren my friend who lives here outside of San Francisco if I could use her address and order a bunch of Laura bars back to her place because they are cheaper if I order on Amazon in America instead of China and she said yes of course so I have ordered a big bunch I'll show you guys Wow this boom yes I know I ordered so many because I just really really like them so much and as I said it's a really nice healthy snack to have around I try to tell myself I can only eat one every day which is really hard because they're so freaking tasty but yeah I try to control myself but when I'm on a plane I will bring two because then I should treat myself a little bit because it's not fun to be on a plane <laughs> Anyways guys, that was all for this video. I know that it was way too long. I'm sorry for me talking so much I just want to chit chat with you guys. I'm also home alone So I just miss talking to people. I hope that was okay. Anyways, please check out my patreon support Ling Ling and Lena around and check out my website. I've been remodeling it a little bit I think it looks quite nice now if you need advice on China You can book a time and we can talk about China I'll advise you and I should stop talking now so thank you for watching this little video I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling's out see ya and 再见 bye bye